there. Welcome to Card Reads by Annie. We're shot on location today at All That Is with owner Yvonne Pinet. I thank you very much. <laughs> you dressed me again today. <laughs> but wonderful. Yvonne's <laughs> actually here with us today to talk about um, some basics on smudging. So I want to thank everybody for being here today and we're shaking things up a little bit. Yes, I have legs. We do get up off of that chair and away from that table. So Yvonne, you have um, some different things that we can use while smudging our house and perhaps mm -hmm. an idea why we should. Okay, smudging is used for, it goes back to biblical times. Uh, um, in the biblical days, they use uh, frankincense and myrrh with a very sacred uh, re resin uh, for nice. ceremonial and offerings. Uh, the basic reason why we can smudge is just to clear space, clear any negative energy. Um, and there's different forms of smudging, like there's resins, there's the incense, there's sage. Sage and this lemongrass and cedar kind of goes to the more tra native traditional ways. Uh, with offerings of tobacco, for example. Um, okay, so let's say I rent a house and we can't have any kind of smoke in it. What would you recommend to smudge my house? Would we then go perhaps to like a pellet like this? No, because that still requires that still creating requires smoke. smoke? Um, for places where you can't have smoke, a lot of people use just a basic, um, say, distilled water with kosher salt. They might add some essence oil. So okay. all you're doing is spritzing corners and just setting the intention of clearing any negative energy oh, and okay. inviting like new fresh energy into your new home and with blessings and gratitude and love and light. That's good to know because I go and read in many places where I simply cannot smudge a room and sometimes mm -hmm. when you go into that room you just feel like blah mm -hmm. because the energy is blah. So can you show us like how you would do some of this? Like I see here you've got a shell set up with a few things. Yeah so this is just like a little starter where you have a stand with a little abalone shell and what I have is just a chunk of charcoal so it's a little disc and you light the charcoal and you can just drop your sage on or even burn like an incense cone on top of it. Um, you can come up with different blends. It could be like sage and cedar or even dried lavender and create your own scent. And just a matter of going through the house and just, you can use a feather just to kind of direct the smoke and clear the room. So that's, that's one way. Now, I've seen where people do that towards their own bodies as well. Yeah, it's kind of when they're a going through a wash. rough. Yeah, when they're yeah, going through a yeah. rough time. You can, you can basically have the, the shell and the sage burning, for example. And it's called a dry wash. So you're kind of like clean your senses. Okay. So your, your eyes, your mouth, over your head, over your body. It's just called a dry wash. Oh, nice. Okay. So you're just kind of cleansing your body. You're teaching with me the intention. things today. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> <With> the, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> with the intention yeah. of... Uh, bringing in good and okay and releasing any negative energy okay so is there one that you prefer to use when you're doing this if I'm doing a house or a small area I prefer the wand okay because this is is sage wild sage is just wrapped with thread so it's just a matter of lighting it and just going through the area and just kind of directing smoke into the corners for example entrances doorways yeah. and it's just like you can just butt it out like a cigar and then just reuse yeah, it. And, yeah, and I have actually used one of these. I travel with one in my car. There's always one in my console. One of these days I'll get pulled over and they'll wonder what that <laughs> is tied up in my console. But it is white sage. But I do travel with it because, like I said earlier, I do come into a lot of spaces that are new for me to read out of. And sometimes there can be a lot of negative um, kind of sludge left behind, mm -hmm. I guess, is the best way well, to put residual, it. Well, residual, they call and residual energy. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, I wouldn't have been so polite about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just much nicer than I am. Sludge <laughs> is what it is. Uh, but sage, as far as I'm concerned, um, is the one that works yeah. the best for me. Um, and I do know cedar is another one of those that if you do tend to smudge in your home, um, the smoke actually seems to disappear a lot quicker mm -hmm. than, say, the sweet grass does, but sweet grass I find has a much more spiritual energy to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. as as long as it is like this, left in its natural state. Okay, so when you do your smudging of your home, do you usually do the outside perimeters of your walls? Do you know what I mean? You can, because that's, that's how where I, was I would taught suggest to do it. The, the spritzer. The spritzer. Yeah, when okay. you're going outside your your home and. Yeah, just kind of imagine all the energy going up to creator or okay. whatever and just transformed into love and light and 
Let's go from there. Some okay. The area. Sounds awesome. So you said you can mix blends of these then for different things? Yeah, you can create your own blends. Um, like some people like the smell of cedar and it's like okay. a bark. It's like a cedar bark and mm -hmm. it's just a matter of lighting the charcoal and dropping dropping like you can drop cedar or cinnamon, lemongrass. Okay. A mixture creates your own blend. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you gonna be doing that for us one day? Oh, you never know. There we go. <laughs> okay, so unless you have something more to add to that today, um, I am going to thank you very much for, again, letting me invade your space here mm -hmm. and picking your brain as to some mm -hmm. knowledge. There are other forms like the incense. Oh, yes. The incense sticks and the cones are another form of cleansing. Like even in churches, they use like the incense and holy that's water. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so true. So there's different ways. So you can burn it through these or... Yep. Okay. So the smudge pots or perfect. Now, what if you don't have a feather? You say you can just use the just hands. Just use your hands. Okay, perfect. Yeah. And I know we use the shell here, but you don't have um, access to a shell. You can use um, an ashtray for mm -hmm. those of you who don't smoke. Um, you can use an ashtray. You can use a saucer. Anything that you don't care if it gets a little bit stained, because anytime you burn something, of course, on porcelain china, anything like that, it's going to stain. But I have, in a pinch myself, before used an actual saucer, so I do know that that works. Um, can we just like, for instance, myrrh? Okay, myrrh is something I've heard about like for years. Mm -hmm. We this does go back to biblical times. Oh yeah, Bi myrrh and, and frankincense. Often. Yeah. Incense is associated simply with covering up smells. Um, incense is often associated with, um, I cooked fish for dinner today and I can't stand the smell, okay? And, and that's not really what it is. Smoke of almost any kind does clear the air. Even myself, when I'm using a new set of rune stones or anything like that, I will run my smudge or my smoke mm -hmm. from my smudge through it and often it's been incense that I've used. Mm -hmm. So there are so many uses for it. It's no different um, than we can add almost a form of aromatherapy to that. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Very. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So yeah, That's definitely. That's why you have a TV show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, well, no, I lucked into that, I think, and then I think I pushed Tommy a little bit. Hey, hey, you listening to me? Can you hear me? I want to produce here. And finally he said, oh, okay. Well, it was a little better than that, but yes. Um, so, no, it is, um, I do learn as I do every show. Mm -hmm. um, even this morning looking up for some things, I was going to look up smudging, and I thought, no, I'm not, because Yvonne <laughs> will tell me all about it. Uh, for our next episode, I have looked up stuff. So there's always new things to learn. Mm -hmm. Only thing, though, anytime we're dealing with anything that burns, let's not leave it unattended. Let's not assume it's out. Sometimes the herbs and the spices and the leaves will actually look like they're out and they still may be smoldering a little bit on the outside. So let's mm -hmm. make sure that we leave it in its container, put it, you know, somewhere non-flammable and just till it's completely put out because you can reuse it again if the, everything in there is not burnt yet. But we don't want to hear fire trucks coming down the road <laughs> either. So I am um, going to take a little bit of a break. So I want to thank you well, again thank you. Uh, for being here and again letting us take over your store. It's been a fun morning <laughs> here to do that today. So um, I will see you in a few minutes.